So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and update on my painting projects. And I said before, I've been going a little bit mad with the uh, uh, medievals after I finished so many English Civil War the other day or well, the other week. Um, I've been cracking on with the medievals that I've got to do, um, mainly because I wanted to get finished all the foot saw, uh, well, sorry, the Baron Wars figures that Andy Hobday did on the Kickstarter because I bought into the new Kickstarter with even more of them coming so I thought I'd better finish the first lot off so this is the remaining eight foot knights from that set um, and jolly nice they are too I really like the figures uh, I've mentioned it many many times they're really nice figures um, just did them up as a mixed bag of different kinds of knights using some um, heraldry I'd uh, already got um, and used the basically use their colors to match the the shield types so um, i got myself organized for once i had the shields ready to go um and i'd already assigned them to different unit or different figures so i knew that you know this guy which his shield is predominantly uh blue um i made sure he had blue <laughs> this guy predominantly black so he's black all of a sudden um and i'm quite pleased with how they've come out um, it's not a bad effect and they're nice figures so they can join the uh, upcoming retinue for whatever rules I decide to do. I know, I still haven't tried. So next up, a unit of a group of eight archers, or longbowmen probably. Uh, some of them have got quite short bows like these guys, and some of them have got very long, uh, long bows. Uh, these are really nice figures from Claymore Castings, um, who do some outstanding medieval figures. Um, that said, I have to say, variability in the packs. Um, this guy, I think, is an awesome figure. Really love him. Um, same with this one. I think absolutely superb. Really, really nice detail. Nice pose. This one here, this one here. And this one, not so much. Um, bow's a bit short. Um, just not particularly great figure I don't think um, same with this one a bit sort of robot like pose wise um, but I guess you take the rough with the smooth this one's okay quite like him the armored one although again soft metal bane of my life getting things like that straight um, I like this guy here uh, he's got um, padded armor underneath that surcoat so I, I think they're they're a mixed bag I think um, at least half of them are really really nice figures uh, the other ones are okay figures I think if it's not if I'm honest but maybe it's just because the others are so good um, it makes the average ones look um, well average really but there you go quite pleased with that another eight archers joining the retinues uh, at this rate I'm gonna have um, quite a few in this collection um, but I want to get, as I said, I want to get a lot of these um, medievals done before the next Futsal um, Kickstarter arrives, um, which hopefully won't be for a little while yet because I've got plenty to do. And with them will come a new rule set, um, which uh, Andy Hobday has been working on for Baron Wars. Um, and I'm excited to see what they're like. It sounds, everything I've heard, they sound quite interesting sort of retinue size formation so kind of the same size as um uh line rampant kind of size battles which uh which i still know i need to try out but you know not doing any gaming at the moment um but i'm not sure about line rampant so i'm quite excited about uh, andy hobday's uh, Baron Wars uh, rules because I think they could have huge potential and certainly from from the um, discussions I've seen of him doing uh, vlogs on it and what have you I think they, they sound like potentially could be very good indeed anyway another eight figures done so the medieval adventures continue uh, from my painting table these are a group of two four six eight um well, they're, they're supposed to be men-at-arms um, from the Claymore castings range. Really loved these figures. I saw them online um, and I just thought I've got to have them. They're such nice. I mean, just look at the animation on this guy. Absolutely fantastic. Swinging that sp spiked club mace, I suppose it is. This guy here with his two-handed sword. 
just lovely it's buckler on the back there and um, yes yeah, so I just decided I um, had to have some of these in my life because you know you never have too many figures can you can you so um, yeah this guy here fantastic really nice um, used uh, this is one of my homemade shield transfers actually I tried it out I saw somebody was talking about it on a blog somewhere um, and I got some um, uh, well basically transfer paper that you can put in the printer found the image um, and uh, printed it out and uh, it worked really nicely really nicely indeed so so yeah there's another group there um, most of them are in sort of um, I guess these guys are in sort of leaded padding padded armor uh, these guys got a little bit more. Uh, no, most of them are, most of them padded armor, um, and they can join the sort of uh, men at arms rank uh, for my various retinues. Um, again, usual story with me: mixed bag of um, um, contrast paints and regular paints, um, and I and a generous dry brush um, with Iraqi sand, so not the white which somebody picked me up on on one of the other. Uh, other videos quite rightly actually saying we should use um, a, a grey or a yellow a, a sort of a sandy colour rather than white when you're when you're dry brushing to highlight at the end and um, he was quite right so and I used to use uh, Iraqi sand a lot for that and so I've been doing it again because I think I kind of just forgot about it to be honest but I think it works really nicely and I'm pleased with the effect it gives um, and uh, very happy with these figures so that's more completed so to accompany all the longbow, um, I decided uh, to paint up some of uh, these crossbowmen that I had. Um, I think, as I recall, I put, picked these up through somebody at the club. Um, didn't need them anymore. Um, Neil, I think it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and um, they were... I don't know what the manufacturer is, but they're quite nice detailed figures. The only problem with them, they all had separate heads on the crossbows, and he'd lost a load of them. So um, some of the crossbows, I've got, this is the nine that I could um, put together. Um, but there's another, probably another similar number, I would think, um, where I haven't got the crossbow heads, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, he was going to find them for me, but obviously shutdown happened, and... Um, that's that so um i don't know i might uh, i'll probably just leave them in the bits box until i get around to it till he, either he finds them or if i find um a manufacturer that sells just the sort of tips of the of the weapons so i can um, attach them and then paint the rest up but you know these are all heavily armored uh they've all got male shirts on and uh, uh some cases they've got armored um, plate armoring on their leggings um so they're, they're obviously kind of going to be mercenary type troops that could have afforded that sort of armor uh in the era so um i've just painted them up generally like i have with a lot of my sort of foot troops just a sort of nondescript general kind of uh medieval warriors um these have got a vicious array of um hand weapons along with a couple of them got sort of um, what do they call them the the not sh not swords have been the cross between a sword and a machete very bl broad blades um, a couple of them have got those but there's a guy with an axe there's a guy with a spiked mace there's another hammer there um, really vicious looking things but uh, nice enough figures they painted up okay and um, they'll be useful to join the medieval ranks so there's a change from all things medieval I painted up this um, general English Civil War general uh, again, not entirely sure what manufacturer this is. Pro the problem with having the massive stockpile I have, I generally can't remember where I got them from. Um, just change the zoom. There we go. Um, yeah, but he's a lovely figure. Um, he's uh, wearing full plate. Um, and I genuinely think he's probably one of the nicest figures I've painted. One of the one of the best results, shall we say, of figures I've painted. I took a little bit more effort on him, did a little bit of highlight work, um, did a little bit of extra shading, um, and, you know, just shows you spend a bit of effort, spend a bit of time, put a bit of effort, <laughs> you you can improve your painting. Go figure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, really pleased with him. So he'll join the ranks uh, of the Royalist Army. 
uh, for whenever we get a chance to play some more Pike and Shot. So next up, uh, some more of the Baron War Knights this time. So these are uh, another six. This is supposed to be, um, well, one of the Lords with his Banner Man. Um, you can see I haven't done the standards on a couple of the guys because um, my colour printer stopped working. Um, so I need to work that out and then print out some uh, transfers to put on the... Uh, on these standards but you know they come out okay once again I think uh, I've tried to keep them a little bit lighter this time I think it's the same I had with the uh, cavalry versions um, sometimes they just come out a little bit too dirty looking once they've been washed um, but I think you know overall I'm quite pleased with the effect I think they've come out okay um, and once the standards are on they can join the ranks so next up as part of the uh, medieval retinues I've got uh, these um, really really nice archers um, they are claymore figures and I mentioned on uh, one of the streams the other Monday night um, one of the line streams Ken and I were doing that I believe that these uh, claymore figures some of them are some of the nicest medieval figures you will find bar none um, I mean just the detail on these fellas I mean show there that guy I mean just absolutely awesome he's even got modeled the finger you can just see it kind of, of the guys you know so when you're if you've ever shot um a bow i used to do a lot of archery and uh one of the things you do when you're using a long bow particularly or any kind of uh, bow without any kind of sight or anything is you hold you, you sort of hold the the arrow on the bow with your finger um you can and you can see here you obviously don't do it when you're shooting because it'll take your finger off but it's just you hold it in place while you're pulling up the the bow to draw it um he's also got the um the fingers of the hand drawing the arrow around the fletching done as um you know like like they would have done with the, effectively the two fingers gripped like that um beautifully done this guy here same really lovely pose proper release of the bow um, I just think it's an awesome figure. Um, what's this guy? This guy drawing a new arrow out the sheath. Lovely figures. Really impressed. Um, <laughs> but then funny enough you get a figure like this which I think is distinctly average. <laughs> um, don't think much of him. Don't think a huge amount of him either. Nothing special. Um, but then you get ones like this. I mean, look at this guy. He's leaning into the shot. Really nicely done. So I would honestly say, um, same with some of the, the other foot uh, men at arms I showed. Uh, some of these figures, these Claymore figures, I think are the, the finest medievals you will get. Um, and I really wish they did more cavalry. They do very few cavalry, and it would be lovely if they did. Um, but uh, these are absolutely awesome, so I'm delighted with how these have come out. So there you go, there's the latest uh, coming off my painting table, been another productive uh, week or so, um, got lots of figures done, cracked through the medievals, I've got uh, another eight archers to do and then I've got a few mounted knights to do and then the, uh, then the medievals are pretty much done, uh, which is great because I'll just before uh, the new Kickstarter arrives from the uh, uh, Baron Wars Kickstarter so um, yeah quite pleased to get this lot done and the retinues have grown quite substantially um, and um, we'll be ready to play a game or two once we get out of this shutdown hope you're doing well hope you're enjoying yourselves uh, as best you can I hope you're staying safe I hope you and your family are doing well um, I think most places are beginning to return to some semblance of normality um, hopefully that means we'll all be back gaming fairly soon um, in the meantime, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. This is Don, signing out.